Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam and today we are going to be talking about growth and self-discovery through de the decluttering process. I know it seems like a big dreaded thing to declutter everything, but guess what? When you actually look at it from the perspective of being able to discover some things about yourself, when you look at it as an option to grow a little bit, you will find more fun in the actual process of decluttering. So a couple things to keep in mind. First, um, it's about kind of noticing your emotions and your body's reactions as you go through things. So when you discover something in a drawer that you forgot about, is that feeling excitement or dread that you've just discovered it? And that can be a clue, right? There's clues in your reactions to the things you discover as you're looking at your items and deciding what to keep and what not to keep. It's because it's tied up with your identity and relationship that we talked about last time. Um, so think about that. When you come up with something and it makes you feel dread, why not let it go? What's the worst that could happen if you let it go? Are they going to take away your kids? Are you going to die? What is it that might come up if you let go of the thing that causes you dread? Right? <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying you have to pick one way or the other, but it's a question to ask yourself because often we hold on to things that make us feel dread because we don't want to feel the feelings that come up in that moment. But what if instead of just putting it back in the drawer and hiding it away and avoiding, you actually looked at what is this dread about? Why is it a thing? Uh, can I just let it go? And then I won't have the dread or um, the need to deal with it because I will have made a decision to let it out of my life. So there's that. Um, and I think that can be really powerful to use the opportunity to examine your feelings and avoidance tendencies around the stuff you encounter within your own house. Because that's, that's really what clutter is, the stuff that wasn't dealt with. Um, the second thing is as you are going through things, you've all heard me talk about over and over the need to have a juicy desired outcome. What is it you are hoping to accomplish by decluttering? Is it just a little bit of growth and self-discovery? Then it should be fairly straightforward. But if you want to move your life in a new direction, find more satisfaction and meaning in some way, you need to make sure that the things that you are keeping that you come across support that life. So when you come across something that doesn't, that's some time for reflection. Is it, am I willing to let go of that at this point? It doesn't serve my future desired outcome. It may have served me in the past, but is it now? These things can give clues to where you're getting stuck and hung up. And again, the perfect opportunity to take a look at why and what you are avoiding in this moment to um, add to the clutter and keep yourself from actually fulfilling that desire to be the new version of you, right? Um, the other great thing is that our brains love a challenge. You've heard me talk about this as well brains love to problem solve. So as you go through your things, there's two problems that could be beneficial in the process. One is getting towards closer to that juicy desired outcome. That's the first challenge. Look for ways to get there. As you're looking at each thing, will this help me get there or not? Um, but it's also that challenge of letting go. Can I make different decisions in the here and now that will get me a better future, that will get me a different result than I've always gotten by avoiding looking at this thing. So it's a fantastic way to look at the decluttering process as a real tool for insight, self-discovery, growth, um, first steps in developing new habits, and really living an examined and well-curated life. And that's all I want for you, really, is to have more satisfaction and meaning in your life. So try it. 
see what happens when you come up against something that is stuck. You know, in the master class, I talk about uh, the yes, no, maybe method. And all of these maybe things are points to examine in this new next level of looking at it. What is it that you're avoiding? What is it adding to your life to keep it versus what might happen if you let it go? So whatever you need to do, talk it through with someone, Google it, shoot me an email, let me know what came up for you. All the things that might allow you to actually process the feelings around the things. Because that's how you can keep clutter from repiling up over and over and over. Keeps you from having to, to rearrange over and over and over. So let's look at it. Let's just curate the things in your life so that they support the life you'd like to be living. That's all. Um, and if you want to learn more about this and see it put into action. Don't forget to check out the um, Streamline Your Life workshop. You can find it at morethanorganized.net slash workshops. There's a button there that'll take you to the full detail page. And um, I'd love for you to join us in this round. Um, I'm going to be doing some of my own clearing out this time, and I'm going to put it on video for you guys so that um, I can give actual visual examples to what I'm talking about during the trainings. All right. It's also got a lot of chance for Q&A. There are Q&A sessions so we can customize your results based on what you're coming up against. Um, I love running programs this way where it's part training, part um, Q&A because it's really mastermindy. Everybody learns from each other um, and supports each other and you get a really good result because I hold you accountable through the whole thing. Um, okay, so let's go through your stuff and figure out who and how you want to be. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.